The CDC reports that smoking causes an estimated 90% of all lung cancer deaths in men and 80% of all lung cancer deaths in women. But cancer is not the only lung disease tied to smoking. The Department of Health and Human Services says that smoking is the highest risk factor for the development of COPD. The American Lung Association defines chronic pulmonary obstructive disease, or COPD, as the combination of two lung diseases, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Ed Newsel, registered nurse practitioner at the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, explains how he tests and treats COPD. COPD is a reduction, and I'm going to use some terms here that are a little bit um, different. It's actually measured by spirometry. Now, spirometry is when you go into your provider's office and they have you breathe in this machine and they're actually looking for your pulmonary functions. That tells us how much air did you get out? How much did you get out the first second? And then that ratio is how we measure whether you have COPD, you don't have COPD. And so when we look at that ratio, getting below 70%, normal is 80 or above, when it goes below 70%, that's the diagnosis for COPD. That's an obstruction, okay? So we're not even looking at the smaller airways, we're only looking at the big airways. And when you start obstructing these big airways, you can start noticing symptoms. And one of the big symptoms that you see is shortness of breath, difficulty getting a breath. And although COPD is associated with a history of smoking, Smoking is not the only thing that can cause COPD, but anybody that is experiencing the shortness of breath that smokes, I can't tell them how important it is they need to stop like now uh, because this is a progressive condition if they continue to smoke and it can get worse. You can map the location for the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center when you check out the exclusive Hometown Health Specialist Directory or click the COPD Facts Story Link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.